I'd now like to show you how to use the stamping head. This is going to make your pieces look absolutely fabulous because if you have never been trained in metalwork, you'll suddenly have all your pieces looking incredibly professional and you look like a metalsmith. So here are, if I can show you, just uh, an image of how you could get a blank disc and you could stamp with a metal punch a decoration around it and then you can dome it and punch holes into each end, put it on a chain and maybe hammer some, some round wire to feather it at the base. So something very simple like that. So I'd like to show you how that's done. So what you would do, you'd need obviously this hammer head on and this is the sort of thing you can get as a metal blank. Now with a punch, you can either mark where you're going to actually punch it or just put the punch in wherever you want. And it's this simple. You literally just squeeze and that gives you the hole. And it does take a little bit of a wiggle to get it off. Um, and that's it. So now you have a nice suspension hole ready before you start stamping. Right, to stamp your pattern, you would put it on a steel block first. And I do recommend that you work on a solid table surface because you don't want anything to wobble. And also, if it's a flimsy table, the imprint won't be as strong. So don't work on a rubber mat. Uh, this is just a thin bead mat, which is, which is enough, but you can work directly on your table. So place your disc on your block, your steel block, and then the best thing so that it doesn't move around when you're hammering is to get a piece of tape. Any tape will do. This is just a bit of, you know, it could be plumbing tape, it could be electrical tape, it could be cellar tape. Just something to keep it on, on top of your steel block like that. Now, if you want to pinpoint, say, where the center of, you could have done that before, the center of your disc is, if you want to punch something right in the center, do that now with a little marker and then take one of your stamps, place it where you want to punch that mark and all you do is give it one hard strike. And that will give you a little imprint of the actual punch design. So I can take another design now and maybe do the outer areas. just to decorate it. And you can actually punch through the tape as well, so don't feel you always have to lift that tape. Most of the tapes are quite, I don't know if you can already see some of that surface imprint coming up there. So I'm just going to swap that over so that I can continue with my punch. And just move your block around as you go. So the most important thing, this, this last one actually didn't come out very well, so if that happens, you can actually find the groove sometimes in, in, the, in the punch and put it back and go back again. And there it's come out much, much more. And that's the technique in a nutshell. Um, but you can see how you can use uh, punches that have words on them. This one um, has some stamped words on it and it's got a riveted stone on it. And there again, you can see how you can just punch words and pu punch texture into the surface and then shape the piece at the end. So the stamping head gives you this amazing chance to make metal jewellery that looks very professional. <laughs>